This is Twit. Everything's computerized, everything feels like it's really inexpensive, right. but for a small group of folks to build a product and sell it for $99, right. we couldn't do it. You, is it does it mean because you have to do custom chips and things like that? So could the custom PCBs, CLSI. but also like buying in, in large quantities? You can't. You can't do it, right? Yeah. So we sold 500 of those. And you know, when, when you build a product, they say you should multiply your cost of your bomb, your bill of materials, by two and a half or three times. Right. So if you start doing the math, you start to realize, well, if the computer's 30 or $40, your product's almost 300 bucks. Right, right. So we're like, based on those numbers, we needed to lower the cost of the computer. Right. So we set off on this sort of journey and went to China um, where we had spent some time and we were like, how do we build a computer that costs less, less than 10 bucks? Because we want to make things like auto and make them cheaper. Now there's a Raspberry Pi, but it's $35. Yep. There are Arduinos and others, but nothing is less than $10. Nothing is less than 10 bucks. That's really inexpensive. It's and when you say computer, you're not just saying the processor. You want I.O. and everything? Everything. Right, so we need all the stuff that makes what it What were the specs you needed? So we wanted about a gigahertz of speed, Okay. right? We wanted 256 to 512 megs of RAM. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, okay. quite a bit. And the goal here is that can we run a full Linux distribution? Right. Because the fun of all of this is if we can have a really inexpensive computer to build things with, then we want to be able to run real Linux. Right. Not something you run on a router or like, you know, open word. That's all great. But if we want to build a product, we want to run like real Python, real C code, things like that. So you need to boot a real operating system. But you also need I.O. on this. You need disk storage. It has disk storage. Yep. So like on, on other sort of de developer boards and products, you have to attach an SD card. Which yeah, is that's Raspberry Pi. You put a little like that. SD yeah. card. And it's, yeah. it's a problem because they're very slow. So we wanted it to be able also to boot very fast. So it felt like, you know, so a real So integrated thing. RAM. You got it. So integrated uh, permanent storage. So we use NAND flash. And then that's where you get chip, which we have right here. This is the chip. We're so going to fold. Now, what's, what about I.O.? Do you have Bluetooth? Do you have Wi-Fi? So this has you... got Wi-Fi BGN, Bluetooth 4.0, oh. which supports Bluetooth LE. I see USB. You, two USB ports, USB 2.0 on the go. Uh, it's got composite video so out. So this is OTG. The small one's OTG. The large one is just regular Standard. USB 2, yeah. And that's uh, power, or is it? This one is actually um, composite video, oh, microphone wow. in, and uh, stereo out. Oh, that's cool. So the power comes in through the micro USB? Through the micro USB, okay. yeah. And cool. then it also has built-in battery charging as well. So you can plug in a LiPo, single cell LiPo pack and build stuff with it and take it outdoors, you know, like auto. So if you look at all the stuff we needed to build to make auto, we put it all into a little board. Wow. So you look can build that. projects. But the fun thing is, and we learned this along the way, is like, oh man, we've lowered the cost of the computer below $10. It's a computer. That's a product. Well, that's an interesting thing on its own. Yeah. And so, so tell me, what is the chi what are the chips on here? That's, so, that must be the storage, right? So this is actually a combination uh, NAND storage, which is four gigabytes. So four gigs of, of, four of, gigs of storage, storage. And then 512 meg megs of DDR So it's RAM. your NAND and your RAM. Built into there. And is this the system on a chip up that here? That is the SOC, actually. And it's an entirely new chip called the R8 that we worked on with uh, Allwinner, which is a Chinese so, manufacturer of chips. Interesting. It's yeah. an ARM chip, I would It's an ARM chip, presume. yeah. Okay. And then uh, what is this? Uh, this must be the radio. That's a Realtek uh, Wi-Fi 2-in-1 okay. with Bluetooth as well. Cool. And the thing that we've been working on, right, is we've sort of sourced all these chips that are very inexpensive and bought them in really large quantities, which is why we did the Kickstarter. How many really large? Like, well, so far... Tens of thousands? Yeah, a wow. lot. So right That's now, one way you get the price, to, as you said. That's one of the only ways. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah. so the other thing going here is that making all of this work in a sort of nice way with, with real Linux takes an enormous amount of work and an enormous community effort. Software work, you mean? Software work, yeah. yeah. So Because you need drivers for all of this. You got it. Yeah. So that's really what the Kickstarter was about, was number one, getting the large quantities, and number two, getting a, getting a huge group of people to help us wow. mainline the kernel. Yeah. So that when you don't have to install all these patched kernels and all these patched things, it just works out of the box. Interesting. You mean you can literally install a generic Linux on here? G gener generic Debian ARM hard float will wow. run on this. That's the plan. That is impressive. It's We're hoping it, it works out because it, it means that we don't have to deal with all the nonsense that we did when we right. built Auto. Right. It just works, which is so rare and, and super awesome.